He's talking about the go ahead. Uh oh. Oh, good. Now, all right, let's get started. <laughs> hey, bless them, Lord. Nobody else will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Yeah. 
I am safely sheltered here, protected by God's hand. Here the sun is always shining, here there's not an army. I am safe forever in Beulah land. I'm living on the mountain, underneath the father's sky. I'm drinking at the fountain that never shall run dry. Oh yes, I'm feasting on the manna from the bountiful supply, for I am dwelling in Beulah land. Feeling here the word.
somebody with you and tomorrow night Bible study at 6 30 don't forget that and uh, we're going to give away some rewards for people that bring visitors I'm really excited about this little Amen. Amen. this is something I don't think have y'all ever seen one of these Are you gonna get one? no I'm going to order me one but we can get them they're only uh, $9 a piece oh, and, and, and that's, that's wonderful and uh, inside of it and uh, while Grandma was getting the baby quiet, <laughs> inside of it, she really don't, uh, he really don't like her. And uh, <laughs> uh, these outlines are, are, are the Bible, is the Word of God, and it says what page to turn to, and then you turn over there to page 22, and uh, it'll have like an outline, and it uh, teaches you about the Bible being the Word of God. If I can never get to page 22, there it is. And uh, so these outlines, what they are, they're, they'll, it, it'll have that script, you read it, and then at the bottom it'll have like a little outline, point one, point two, point three, whatever, with other scriptures and some explanation. And then you turn to these other scriptures and down at the bottom of the page there'll be some notes about that. And then it'll say, now turn to page such and such for the next teaching. Jesus Christ is Lord, and you turn that page and it has some teachings about it. Or turn in the Bible, find it. That is a great Bible. And in the back, it tells you how to lead a soul to Christ. And then it even has the scriptures marked so that you can go point A, all in sin. Point B, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Point C, con uh, confess. And uh, it, it has it just tells you which page. And it has a little explanation within each of those scriptures so you can read it to your convert or the one you're trying to win to the Lord. Amen. And so uh, that, that, that'll help you uh, to get through those scriptures. And you'll get them right. And, and it fits perfect right there. Well, it would if I didn't have something else in there. And it fits perfect in your pocket, your front and your back pocket. And uh, so this right here is a sword. That's the sword of Lord. Yes, is. This is a knife. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is a knife. <laughs> and, uh, but it's still two edged. So, and then whoever brings the most visitors, I didn't show it. I didn't want to take the time this morning. Uh, but uh, nice, nice Bible. And, uh, nice cover. My wife told me not to wear the gold off the pages. <laughs> if you flip them a lot, you know you wear the gold off the pages. But that's a. That's a beautiful Bible, and uh, it's got studies in it similar to this, similar to it, and a whole lot more it has in there. And of course, it's King James, center column reference. That's how I really learned the Bible, was center column references. Uh, in the back, it has outlines, and it's just, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's good, good, good size. And feels good. I love the smell of the new Bible. Mm -hmm. You got your Bible on your phone? Pull it out and smell it. <laughs> Don't just love to get your phone on your Bible and take it and just smell your phone. No, but you do your Bible. Amen. That smells better than new money. Amen. I like that. So y'all try to get somebody to come, okay? And 
And we got 10 of these, so we know 10 people is going to get rewarded for bringing visitors. And we've got one of these. And then you say, well, I got study Bibles. I do. I got five, study, six study Bibles. I got, I got shelves of Bibles. And King James, of course. And, uh, but uh, you might say, well, I got a bunch of study Bibles. And I, I, I've been, I'm, I'm going to try to get people to come, and I want to reward them if they come with me. So I'd rather have that feast for four. It's Sonny's world famous, finger licking good barbecue. And they even have a salad bar at Sonny's. So you can be uptown and redneck at the same time. <laughs> so uh, there's that. So y'all help us do that, okay? Help us do that. Now, uh, Brother Darrell, uh, somebody has passed away, and he has inherited a bunch of clothes. And uh, nice, yeah, I went, I picked out me four pairs in pants. Already got, but there's twenty pair left in there, maybe more than that. There's some nice khaki type pants, and some dress pants and dress Most shirts. Of them are pressed and yeah, they're already pressed and clean and everything. And they're laying back there in the. Yeah. And the waist is 36 and the length 31. Some of them say 38, but they've been altered. Yeah. But I held it up to me, and that I, I wear 33 or 34, and they went all the way to my shoes. So well, you anyway, can wear them. huh? You can wear them. Yeah, I got some out. I'm gonna try them on. But go back there and look at them. You can always have them taken up, or you can give them away. You know. But the lady said she'd like to give them to the church instead of give away. So. Yeah, that's right. So go through there, fellas, and see what, well, some of you go through there and see what you can pick out, fellas. <laughs> you can always chop them off. It's hard to make them longer or bigger, you know, but you can always chop them off or take them up, you know. Anyway, there's some back there. Go, go look at them. You may have a friend that needs some clothes or a brother or something needs some clothes. So try that out, okay. Uh, Gargi said page 552 is her next one. She's our real song leader tonight. 552. I'm telling you, we'll fire the other guy. He's out chasing horses with cows or something. <coughs> 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 Jack ever makes it back from working on beach houses and stuff, uh, 
we're going to order a about three loads of crusher run gravel because this part of the parking lot's getting it's sunk and it's getting kind of mushy and it holds rain sometimes and we won't bring it back up to that cement level on the handicap yeah. so if jack ever comes back he's going to be the one that spreads it so i just wanted to We'll get approval from y'all for that when it's time, okay? I don't know how much it'll cost. You have to find out. It won't be much, but uh, I just want to let you know we don't we're not hurting for money. The Lord's always been good Amen. to us, and uh, we don't we don't sell donuts and we don't go door to door with selling flowers and all that junk. We just count on the Lord. He's always taking care Amen. of us. He's always taking care of us, and the way He does that is through faithful servants. Amen. And when you when you tithe and give offerings, then God's work gets financed. Amen. Amen. That's the way it works. Yes. Really pray for the offering. Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Yes. I thank you. I'm feeling better like I be at church. Yes. I miss Bless church Lord. this morning, Lord. Yes. Lord, we love you and thank you for all you do for us, Lord. Be with the pastor tonight as he mm. brings the word. Help us, Lord. Let those words sink into our minds, Lord, so we can help somebody else. Yes. yes. We love you and thank you for all you do for us, Lord. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Come to the sermon. Uh, I am glad Billy's here tonight. Everybody missed him this morning. I said, We're busy. We're busy. I said, He's got to be sick. He, uh, he'd be here if he wasn't sick. And uh, he messed up and went down to Lancaster to eat. Mm. Is that enough said right there? <laughs> <laughs> he went down to Lancaster to eat and he said he ate something that didn't agree with him. Where'd you go? And I said, where'd you go? I said, where'd you go? I can't say it on here. It's on live, and I get sued. I can tell you this, though. It starts with a show. And, and, and uh, <laughs> he said, he's not going back. And, uh, but, you know, Billy's memory is about that long. And so we'll see Billy back in Lane Street at that same place in about three weeks. <laughs> Psalm 136, I was going to preach tonight on uh, 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 the problem of America, but I'm, I'm going to kind of, I raked you up coals and up one side down the other this morning, I poured salt on it, so I figured tonight you needed a little honey to uh, put on your wounds, so I'm going to give you a little honey tonight to put on your wounds. Boy, I do that. Anybody got a word of testimony today? I'm walking through my backyard this morning, I mean this afternoon, thinking about this, and I got to thanking the Lord. Anybody got a testimony? <coughs> Go ahead, sis. Um, I went out of town for work, and on Tuesday, I was working at the canopy is where a hotel is, right? Where you drive up and you get your stuff out under the cover. Well, um, her screeching, looked around and thought, what a crazy person. Then I realized something was wrong. Anyway, long story short, this man and this woman and their dog in an SUV hit a curb, jumped it, squealing tires, hit a curb, jumped it, squealing tires, and it was a long run down from that hotel. They came within six feet of where I was sitting, where they swerved. Another guy walking out the door that almost took the next step 
they took one of those holes that the big lights were on, concrete and everything came out of the ground. And went up the poles, jumped it down into a seven and a half foot embankment, ripped the axles, the wheels, half the motor. The guys got down there and got them out. The dog in the back seat not buckled up, perfectly fine. The man had blacked out the wheel. The wife had tried to grab it to control it, but not a scratch on him. I didn't die. The man beside me didn't die. <laughs> and I was like, when I realized it in a split second, my Lord. And then in my head, I'm dead. <laughs> and it was okay. <laughs> but everybody was okay. Their car was trashed, but everybody was okay. <laughs> So, and I thought God had to be there. He had to care of the dog. Yeah. So, you're, so you're testifying tonight. I didn't die. She didn't die. He didn't die. The dog didn't die. But it destroyed the van. That's the testimony. Amen. 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 But God was there to that, care of the dog. That's life. right. Amen. All right. While I turn this light on, anybody else? Go ahead, Joe. Um, I teach fellow uh, primary age in Sunday school. And Tiberius told Elizabeth, you have the most beautiful voice that I have ever heard. <laughs> and Elizabeth said, and you're the handsomest little boy I've wow. ever <laughs> <laughs> They are just the sweetest children. And they teach me more than I think I teach them. Wasn't that only two in there? She had to be the prettiest girl. Of That's time. right. <laughs> she was up and took a minute. <laughs> that, that little silver tongue devil. You better watch him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a boy for you. Oh, anybody else? Anybody? Come on. Go ahead, see. This time last Sunday, we were in the emergency room. Uh, my daughter had to have emergency intestinal surgery. Very severe, and she was in until Thursday. She's home now, uh, recovering. It's going to take a long time, but I just praise God that He was yes. with us. Amen. And He's still Jesus. with us every day. Praise and, God. You know, and yes. she's doing well. And I just praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Thank the you. Lord. Yes. yes. She was praising the Lord, too. Yes. <laughs> Her husband was, too. <laughs> and we hope we're going to pray them in here. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Anybody? Go ahead. Age well, before beauty. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. I just wanted, after listening to, to these testimonies, I just wanted to say, isn't God good? Yes. He said he would never leave us or forsake us. Amen. And in those emergencies, you don't even think about crying out to God for the first moment, and yet God is there and God is yes, helping us. And I know in, in the yes. past I've been through a lot of accidents and stuff that uh, mm -hmm. were a lot better, came out a lot better than what they look. And mm -hmm. it just showed that God is so good and protects us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I just want to thank Corson and Doug's church for y'all support. And thank you, Larry, for praying for our family. Mom, that means a lot. That means a lot. And also today, he brought my daughter home from Fayetteville for a short three-hour visit. So Amen. Bring her back home so that she's good. Amen. 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 I think sometimes reading people don't stay here. They don't like to be in touch so much. And, you know, people worry about them. All right, we got another one. You got another one? Yes, go ahead. Every day. Amen. Every day. I'm a two day first. When I go to work, I see my patients that they've been through so much. I have one has brain cancer stuff now. She's been at now time in her lungs and stuff, but she's Christian. And I get a chance to talk to them and give them hope. Amen. And because I know God's good because God saved me. Amen. I'm living proof right here. Right now, I should be here. They told Jack I would die. But I'm here. Amen. And I'm here because of God. And I serve him every day. Every day. I love him every day. And believe me, he is here every day. Amen. You, you should think about him every day. Yeah. You 
you tell people about me. That's why I love my job so much. I get to, I get to witness to people every day. And it's, and it's wonderful to talk about some of you love so much as you do Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Mm. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Anybody? Go ahead, David. I've been around a lot of my generation in the deepest, darkest parts of the city. But, you know, so I know that there's a lot of times where kids like me growing up, we would always live the darkest things. And, and especially when you know, things are hard. But I want to I wanna give praise to God because he's, he's done miracles in my life. He's brought me out of horrible situations. And looking back now, I didn't used to wake up with his songs in the morning. And I just praise him to be able to wake up and join my heart yeah, and be yeah. able to yeah. still stand for him. No matter what the world throws at me, God's always there to yeah. hold my hand, pick me back up, and walk me through. <coughs> and I, I just I praise him so much for that. All right, anybody else? <coughs> you always want to preach. Go ahead. Amen, David. Amen. 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 All right. All right, Psalm 136. Psalm 136. <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, give you some balm to put on those sores I scraped on you this morning. We needed that. Yeah. Moral. <coughs> yeah. yeah, you need surgery, but you need a little honey every once in a while to help it heal up. Mm -hmm. Psalm 136 is pure honey. Amen. <clears throat> honey from the rock. Amen. Amen. Uh, In verse 1, he says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endure forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endure forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endure forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endure forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endure forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endure forever. The moon and the stars to rule by night, for his mercy endure forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, <coughs> for his mercy endure forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endure forever, with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endure forever, to him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endure forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endure forever, but overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endure forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endure forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endure forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endure forever. Sion, the king of the Amorites, for his mercy endure forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endure forever and gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endure forever. Even a heritage unto Israel, his servant, for his mercy endure forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endure forever. And that redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy <coughs> endure forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, Amen. for his mercy endure forever. Uh, this whole psalm's about exalting the goodness and the mercy of God's love. And you know what we ought to do? Uh, we ought to praise the Lord yes. because his mercy endure forever. Yes. Yes. And uh, right now, uh, the Israelites are fighting over the land, Amen. mentioned right here that God <laughs> gave them for heritage because God's mercy endure forever. Uh, uh, sometimes we ought to do like him. We ought to open up like he did there in verse 1 through 3. 
and we'll uh, have a call to praise the Lord simply because his mercy Amen. endures forever. Amen. 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 Uh, think where you'd be today if it wasn't for the mercy right. of the Lord. Right. Think where your family would be. Think where your nation would be. Think where your church would be if it wasn't for the mercy of the Lord. In verse 1 through 3, he opens with a call to praise the Lord. In verse 1, he so, says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. In verse 2, he says, Oh, give thanks unto God. In verse 3, he says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords. Amen. And then in 4 through 9, uh, he, he wants us to praise the Lord because of God's great works in nature. Look at it. Verse 4, To him who alone doeth great wonders. Verse 5, To him that by wisdom made the heavens. Verse 6, To him that stretched out the earth above the waters. Verse 7, To him that made great lights, the sun to rule by day. In verse 8, the moon and the stars by night in verse uh, 9. So uh, he opens up with a call to praise and <coughs> praises God for his great works. And uh, I couldn't be one of these eco-nuts, tree-hugging idiots who don't know anything about God. They don't even know anything about the earth. Uh, you cannot look at the creation and not praise the Lord. They, mean, uh, they must live in a little cubicle in New York City somewhere and don't ever come outside and look up. Amen? Amen? They ought to be able to just look at those stinking rats that's crawling all over yeah. New York City and say, His mercy endured forever that I didn't wake up to bed with these people this morning eat my face off. But you know what? Praise the Lord because His mercy is so good. Look, He created, he created every bit of this for us and he created every bit of that for us Amen. because of his mercy and his Amen. grace. That's Amen. the only reason. He didn't have to do that. <clears throat> and uh, we'll to praise the Lord because his mercy endure forever in the works of nature. Right. Amen. If you sit and look at the nature every once in a while, you start praising the Lord. You say, man, that's a miracle. Yeah. You tell me, how does a frog turn from an egg yeah. to a tadpole mm -hmm. and his tail falls off and he grows feet mm -hmm. and he's jumping around eating the mosquitoes yeah. that we hate so bad. Yeah. <laughs> his mercy is doing forever. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You can't explain the stuff that God makes. You can't explain how it works. Uh, he says it right here. God created the sea, the land above the seas. If it wasn't for God, we'd be underwater, man. Right. Yes. Yes. We would. Oh, we're worried about 1.2 inches of the ocean rising. My goodness, that ain't even going to run the stupid people off the beach down there. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, they're worried about a temperature rise of a 1.5 in uh, 100 years. Right. 1.5? Oh, it's going to melt the polar ice caps. <laughs> Good grace. By the way, who cares? <laughs> who wants to live on the polar ice cap? <laughs> and it ain't going to happen. Uh, did you know right now, and go see it yourself right now, the South Pole has got more snow and ice than it's ever had in history. While they're saying the North Pole is losing it, they never tell you the South Pole is getting it. God will balance it out. Uh, yeah. uh, ten years from now, it was going to be the other way around. Yeah. That's right. Uh, we went to uh, uh, Huntington. Uh, no, we went to uh, Edisto Island, and on Edisto Island, there's an old plantation site. The house is gone, but the foundation's there and all that. And the land was donated by a family to the state park there. And uh, we went down there uh, about maybe 200 yards from the old house through a field. There's a, a like a, a, a little gulf there where the water comes in off the ocean, you know, and uh, like a little bay, water comes in off the ocean. It's got a little beach. They don't allow you to carry the uh, shells off. You can look at them. <clears throat> but there's so many shells on that beach, you can't hardly walk on it. And some of them big, big shells. And uh, they even got a, 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 a park ranger there to make sure you don't carry them off. 
But they're everywhere. They're everywhere. And beautiful, some of the most beautiful shells you'd ever see. The only reason they're not up around Myrtle Beach anymore is because you done run off all the wildlife putting up those giant stupid hotels and all those lights and everything. Yeah. And the wildlife's Don't moved worry. on down the ocean. Amen. Amen. And uh, it's not that they're not there. It's just they're not in that position anymore. Go down there and see them. And then the water, when the tide comes in, it's coming up into the forest. And, and the trees were starting to die because salt water would kill you. Yeah. Tree. Yeah. And uh, uh, I heard the uh, park ranger explaining that to somebody. He said, well, uh, that's a shift. It just happens. It's a seasonal type thing. It's a shift. And this water's coming in. And some people say that's because of global warming. But it ain't. It's washing the sand out. And that sand is building a new island right out there. And he pointed to this little old mound of dirt out there in that bay. And it had one tree growing on it. He said, that didn't used to be there until the water started coming in, washing the sand back out. And now God's building a new island. Out there. I heard the other day somebody said, we're running out of drinking water. That's about the dumbest thing you ever said if you know how to read and write. Uh, we're not running out of water. Did you know the same water you're drinking right now, they drink in Noah's day? That's right. There's not any less water. There's not any more water. It's recycling itself. Mm -hmm. And it's cleaning itself. And all that dirty water goes out into the ocean. And that salt cleans that old dirty water. And then it evaporates back up into the sky. Yeah. And a storm comes along and blows it back over the land. And it drops it back on land. It rains on top of the mountains, it comes down streams, and what doesn't go into a river, which goes into the ocean, goes into the ground. And there's, there, there's streams of water under yes. us. Yes. There's ponds of water. There's lakes of water underground. Amen. Amen. Fresh water. Yeah. And they're scared to death that we're running out of drinking water. They live in a 12 by 12 cubicle in a 60 story building exactly. in Chicago. And they go out there in that park where they throw their trash down every time they eat a sandwich and they think the whole world's a trash dump. Mm -hmm. And they ain't never been to South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, I met one in Chicago one time and he said, I heard that we're losing all our forest. I said, you never rode through North Carolina, South Carolina, <laughs> yeah. Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana. Uh, uh, we got so many trees, you can't see the forest for the trees. Uh, well, they're cutting them all down, making paper out of them. I said, do you think businessmen are stupid? They'll tell you, for every tree we cut down, we plant three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's just dumb as a box of rocks. Mm -hmm. But see, we'll to praise the Lord because we know better than that. That's right. I know better than that. Not because I learned it in a textbook, but because I learned it in the Word of Amen. God. Amen. What a praise the Lord. Yeah. What a praise the Lord because of His mercy and His graciousness toward Israel. Look at verse 10. In verse 10, to him that smote Egypt in their firstborn. Verse 11, and brought out Israel from among them. Verse 12, with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm. Verse 13, to him which divided the Red Sea into parts. 14, and made Israel pass through the midst of it. 15, but overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. To him which led his people through the wilderness. To him which smote great kings and slew famous kings, Sion, king of Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and gave their land for an heritage. Verse 22, even an heritage unto Israel his servant. Amen. What praise the Lord for he does for Israel. That's right. yeah. and, uh, I, and, and I know that they don't believe on Christ. They don't. Mm. But God promised that land to Abraham and all his descendants yeah. and God does not 
break his promise. And God's kept that name. You say, well, they got run out and they got the, uh, yeah, they did. The Romans took them out. The Romans took them out. But did you notice they stayed a people everywhere they went? They stayed uh, Abraham's descendants and they stayed Jews. They kept their language. They kept everything about being a Hebrew. Did you notice that? So they were still a nation until God brought them back. Now, God ain't taking them out again. No. Just read your Bible. Mm-hmm. And we'll praise the Lord for that because, see, Israel is a sign that God keeps Amen. his promise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So he'll keep my hey, he'll keep his right. promise to me then. Amen. 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 We'll praise the Lord for that. Yeah. And uh, tell the Hamas where they're going to wake up after that Israeli bullet goes through their head. Amen. It ain't yeah. a good place either. Amen. And uh, uh, listen, because of his mercy toward everybody, look at verse 23, who remembered us in our lowest state, who hath redeemed us for our enemies, Amen. who giveth food to all flesh. What a praise the Lord that he loves everybody Amen. and he has mercy on everybody. Uh, you know, uh, if, if it was up to me and you, there'd be a lot of people that wasn't breathing anymore. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> if, hey, if God was like us, there would be a lot of people right now that had a real good funeral a long time ago. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But thank God, His mercy endures forever. Amen. Amen. And uh, we don't have much mercy unless we remember His mercy. That's right. Turn to Psalm 107 and look at verse 1 through 15. Psalm 107. Uh, some of y'all look cold. I don't know if you're cold or not, but I don't think the heat's on at all. So. Yeah. Psalm 107, and that wasn't my doing. That was tearing that propped up both doors and the choir that turned the heat off. And so uh, whatever changes, it'll have to be Sorry. them to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Psalm 107. Psalm 107. He apologized for that. And he said, we cooked broccoli. Was it Brussels sprouts? Brussels sprouts. And I said, well, it smells like spaghetti when I come in. <laughs> and uh, I love Brussels sprouts. Amen. Yeah. At least it yeah. wasn't collard. At least it wasn't collard. <laughs> <laughs> or chitlins. <laughs> Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Amen. For his mercy endure Amen. forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, yeah. whom he hath redeemed out of the hand of the enemy Amen. and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. That's us. Yeah. Amen. And they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. He led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfied the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness Amen. such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death being bound in affliction and iron because they rebelled against the words of God and condemned the counsel of the most high therefore he brought down their heart with labor they fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of of their distresses, and he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bonds asunder. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work to children of men. Uh, He says, uh, they're hungry, he fills them, They're bound. He sets them free. Verse 11 says, They rebelled and they condemned the counsel of the Most High. Verse 12 says, Therefore he brought down their heart with labor and they fell down and there was none to help. 
Uh, you see, that's the Holy Ghost conviction. Yeah. Y'all don't need to get in the way of people getting convicted by the yeah, Holy yeah. Ghost. Yeah. And that's happening more and more every day. Yeah. Uh, you get in their way, God's trying to lift them out of that pit. That's right. He's dealing with them. He's bringing their heart down. And you're not going to look up until you get down. You're right. Yeah. You don't see a need. And God convicts people. He convicts our children, our grandchildren, our parents, our grandparents, yes. and our loved ones, and our friends. Yes. And he convicts them. And for some reason, uh, a lot of Christians have this idea. We've got to run over there and relieve them from all of their heartbreak and all of their misery, which they have brought on themselves for rebelling against God. And we get between them and God. And then, uh, uh, listen, they're not listening to God anymore. They're listening to you now. Yes. I'm glad that nobody come to me when I was under the Holy Ghost conviction, when I couldn't sleep good, when I couldn't think good, when I had bad dreams about it. I'm glad Brother Ed didn't come over to my house and say, Brother Ron, you're a good fella. You don't have to worry about this. Uh, you're going to be all right. Uh, uh, you don't have to worry about this. Let me help you carry this load and uh, get in the way of God dealing with me. Uh, we start a one up at Blessed Open York it was first a one club in York, South Carolina. We was running over a hundred. My wife and I was driving about sixty. Ever, uh, uh, I think it was on Monday night we had it, and uh, 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 we would have the one broke up into three or four different pieces. You know, you go in and there's games and there's and, and there's Bible memorization. There's a Bible study. Games are at the end, and uh, one night. Uh, the youth pastor there preached on hell. And we had a, a church full of kids, church full of kids, and teenagers too. They was up in their teens, had a whole church full of them. He preached on hell. And uh, wasn't long after that, uh, uh, this woman called, I can't remember if she called me or him, and said he won't be coming back. Said he came home last night. He couldn't sleep. He All he could do is cry all night. Mm -hmm. Talking about he was scared he was going to hell. And the preacher said if he died and he wasn't saved, he was going to go burn in hell forever and ever and ever. And you ain't supposed to be teaching no young and that stuff. It scares them to death. And uh, they ain't never going to want to know God if that's what you teach them. And my boy ain't coming back over there no more. And I thought to myself, you just got in God's way is all you did. Yeah. You got between your little boy and God. God was dealing with your little boy, and you couldn't stand your little boy to cry. But he ought to cry. He's a Amen. dirty, rotten sinner Amen. just like the rest Amen. of us. And, and God woke him up and reminded him that he needed a Savior, and she became his Savior. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he ever got saved or not. But if he didn't, he'll die and go to hell and meet mama down there. And mama will say, son, I wish I hadn't stopped you. I wish I'd have let the preacher preach to you some more. I wish I'd have let you go to church more. You wouldn't be down here with me right now. Amen. Yes. Amen. We ought to praise the Lord that he opens our eyes and that he Amen. takes mercy on us. Amen. He satisfies our longing soul. He filleth the hungry with goodness. And such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the word of God and condemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. And look what happens when there's none to help. That next Amen. verse. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, Amen. and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands asunder. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful yes. words to the children of men. We'll yeah. praise them. We'll be the praisingest people in the world. Amen. Right? Amen. We'll praise the Lord going and coming. We'll praise the Lord getting up and getting down. We'll praise the Lord. We'll get up in the morning and say, well, praise the Lord and get out of bed. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. I walked down across the yard today and I was I walked across there carrying a big old bowl of chicken bones because my wife had, had stripped some chicken down to make chicken salad out of And I walked across there and uh, I hate to smell a bowl of chicken, don't you? I just yeah. don't like it. <laughs> and uh, I walked around and I look up at those trees and the weather we have, you know, and I said, well, praise the Lord, I can still see. Amen. And, and, and then I got thinking and I said, well, praise the Lord, I can still walk. I'm walking. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord. I can still breathe. And I can still smell. And I went, 
Praise the Lord. God's good to us. Yes. Well, yes, praise Him is. all the time. Yes. Amen. Hey, I mean, when you sit down to breakfast, you ought to say, praise the Lord, I got breakfast. When you sit down to lunch, you ought to say, praise the Lord, I got lunch. When yes. you sit down to supper, you ought to say, well, if we all know there's dinner, but it's really <laughs> supper, we have dinner on Sunday afternoon. But when you sit down uh, to supper, you know, like the Lord's Supper, uh, you sit down to supper, you say, praise the Lord, I got some supper to Amen. eat. Amen. 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 Some of y'all like me, you remember a time you didn't have all that. Amen. 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 You you sit down at night and ate you a, a saltine cracker with mustard or mayonnaise on Amen. it because that's all about all you had. Yeah. Amen. 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 If you had peanut butter, you thought you was rich. Right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. What a praise the Lord. We don't do it enough. What a praise the Lord going and coming and up and down and inside and out. And right. uh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Verse uh, 16. For he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. Amen. He set us free. Amen. He, well, praise the Lord, he set us free. We're bound. Amen. Amen. And then look at the next verse. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord, in their trouble, and he saveth them out of Amen. their distresses. He even saves fools. Yeah. There's hope for America. Amen. There's hope for the White House. He even Amen. saves fools. Uh, there's hope for Congress. He's still saving yeah. fools. Amen. Amen. Hey, he, hey, he saved us. Foolish as we were. Amen. Amen. I know some preachers that need to get saved because they're fools. Amen. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a lot of people in this world, and where me or you would just count them all, say, oh, he's a fool. He's a godless wretch. And God reaches down and says, I save fools too. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, I'm about to start preaching in a minute. Thank you. And uh, uh, boy, he sent his word and healed them, verse 20, and delivered them from their destructions. Amen. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his yes. goodness Jesus. and for his wonderful works to children of men. You ever meet old grouch? You <laughs> can't say nothing good. I get grouchy. You get grouchy, but I mean old grouch. If you say, man, that's, boy, the weather looks good, he'll say, yeah, it's probably going to rain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he looked over and said, hey, it looks like we're going to get some rain. Been needing some rain. He said, no, nah, it ain't no water in them clouds. No, nah, it ain't going to rain. <laughs> amen. Old grouch. Amen. He said, boy, I feel good today. He said, well, you're probably going to get cancer or something. You don't know what's going on. Amen. 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 Hey, I'm just glad that God put me in my amen. right mind where I ain't old grouch, amen. I can praise the Lord amen. for his goodness among the works of men. Yep. Uh, verse 22, let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving. Amen. Why would he say that? Yeah. Because for a carnal man, mankind, yep. in his carnal state, he is always unthankful. And if you want to give God a sacrifice, God don't need our money. God doesn't need that chicken. God don't need your cow. God don't need your, your food or your gold or your land. But God desires praise and thanksgiving. He inhabits the praise of his people. So when people start thanking the Lord, you've got a sacrifice to make your old flesh praise the Lord and thank him. Amen. That's why you don't say amen. You know what would happen one day? One of these days, I'm gonna, I, I hope it happens, maybe during revival. <clears throat> about three of y'all, three or four of y'all get cut loose from mm -hmm. your uh, uh, I don't know, insecurities and you start praising the Lord all at one time, revival. Amen. 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 It may take, I see these little lizards around here all the time. They come get us. <laughs> <and> <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I think one night we're gonna buy y'all singing. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up down the aisle and run a bunch of them out and they start running up your leg. You say, Hallelujah! Praise God! Amen. And everybody else think you got touched by the spirit. And they'll start praising the Lord. Amen. That's right. It's a sacrifice to make this whole thing humble itself. Yes, sir. And lift his hands and say, We'll praise the Lord. 
Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for his mercy. I sure don't deserve it. I ought to be in hell right now. Yep. Oh, God been good to me. I ought to be starving to death somewhere over there in Cambodia or somewhere like that. Ought to be, hey, I ought to be living in a mud hut down there in South America or something like that. Boy, thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. He's been so good to me. Yes. If we do that, revival would break out. Yes. It would. Amen. Because every, all of you be preaching then when you start praising the Lord. That's preaching. Amen. Amen. When y'all stood up long ago and that lady said, the dog didn't die, and the woman didn't die, and the man didn't die, and I didn't die. But the car died pretty bad. But, but praise the Lord, we all live. Amen. Amen. Hey, God, God, God gets glory out of that. Yes, he does. God gets glory out of that. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. They cried unto the Lord in verse 19 in their trouble. And he saved them out of their trouble and distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. They were on their, on, on their way to destruction, y'all. And then in verse 22, he said, and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his words with rejoicing. I wonder what would happen if you'd go to work the ball and you'd go in there and, they, and you're looking around and you say, how you doing? Ah, oh, it's Monday. You know, I like Monday. You say, well, pray the Lord. I'm just happy to be here. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's it. They'd die of a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> They'd have to get you a new boss, man. He'd pass out graveyard dead. You start talking like that. Start praising the Lord and say, uh, uh, and, and boy, they're in there griping, complaining about the job. And say, what do you think about it? So I'm just praise the Lord Amen. that his mercy endure forever. Let me have a job. Give me the strength to work. Amen. 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 We turn the world upside down and we yes. just start praising. Now, don't get me wrong. You can't pander with God. You can't no. do like these politicians and tell people what they want to hear mm. and get anything out of it. But if the praise comes from the heart, Amen. Amen. Yes. it's in the heart that God looks. Yes. If that praise comes from the heart, and Jesus said the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yes. Right. Boy, I've worked with two Christians in my life while I was saved. I never heard one of them cuss, not one of them cuss word. If they said anything, it was always, well, praise the Lord this, and hallelujah that, and I'm just happy to be here, you know, and things like that. And that impressed me more than all them old cussing, vile, wicked old men that was talked to me, you know. And uh, 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 you get around uh, people, and they start cussing and going on, I, I tell you what, I, I tell you what we'll do. Uh, they don't have music on the elevators anymore because the people that ride the elevators are not old enough to know those songs because they only played the oldies on the road. So they had not wrote no songs since the oldies died out anyway. And that's what, the, that's what Bob Dylan said and that's what all the old rockers say. They said they don't sing anymore, they just make noise. And uh, right. but what, uh, uh, what would happen if we got on that elevator and they used to have mirrors on them where you could fix your hair and stuff. They don't even have that anymore. And you're on there with five or six strangers and you're going up, you know, about the sixth floor and all of a sudden somebody says, well, praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Bless his assurance. Jesus Amen. is mine. If the elevator falls, I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. <coughs> Instead, you get on the elevator and you go, mm -hmm. watching those numbers. That's all you do. You just yep. go and watch them. And God might have put that guy on the elevator so you'd witness to him. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you a story about Elvis. Most of y'all are Elvis fans. I never was an Elvis fan. Y'all forgive me for that, won't you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But. But most of them were Elvis fans. And Elvis did, he did not overdose on drugs. I've, I've read on it. He, uh, it's hard to explain, but uh, it was a stomach problem is the reason he died. But, and because of the way he ate. But, uh, but a lot of people, I've heard a lot of preachers say, you know, Elvis died and went to hell and Elvis died. And then I hear Christians saying, say, well, you never heard him sing How Great Thou Art or Amazing Grace. And I said, no, I didn't. 
But one day I was listening to my uh, favorite preacher, Dr. Jack Hiles, and Dr. Hiles, uh, his church was 15 minutes below Chicago, and uh, he'd go up to Chicago to do business. He said he went to the bank, and it was up on like the 20th floor in there in Chicago, and he got on the elevator. The elevator went a little ways, and it stopped, and Elvis Presley walked on the elevator. And this boy, he was super famous. He didn't have bodyguards and nothing like that. He was still a young man. And he got on the, el on, on the elevator, and uh, Dr. Howe said, he looked at him, he said, you're Elvis Presley, aren't you? He said, yes, sir, I'm Elvis Presley. He said, well, you're pretty famous. He said, yes, sir, I guess I am. He said, my name's Dr. Jack Hiles. I pastor First Baptist Church, Hammond, Indiana. He said, I know. I know who you are. I've heard you preach. You're a pretty famous preacher. He said, I guess I am. <laughs> he said, well, Elvis, we don't have it a minute before we get to my floor, and I want to ask you this question, the most important question that you'll ever be asked. If you died right now, do you know for sure you, if you died, you go to heaven? He said, Elvis looked at him just as serious as he could, and he said, yes, sir, preacher, I do. He said, well, I'm curious, how do you know? He said, well, if you know my history, you know, I, I grew up in church, and, uh, I grew up singing in church when I was a little boy. And he said, my mom, my, uh, I think it says grandma took him. And I think it was a Pentecostal church, I'm not sure now. But he said, I grew up in church and I heard the gospel. How Jesus was born for me and lived for me and Amen. died in my place Amen. and rose again the third day. And if I'd ask him, he'd take me to heaven when I die. And he said, preacher, I asked him and he saved me. And I've never doubted it since then. Amen. If people just praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Yes. And if that if, if preacher Hiles hadn't had enough guts to start the conversation, we wouldn't know that. Now, I believe he went to heaven. Yeah. I don't believe he went to heaven in the right shape he ought to have been in. But I believe he went to heaven because see, that's how you get saved. Right. So I praise the Lord that I get to sing with Elvis Presley. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I'll get to sing. He, matter of fact, when I get up there, he's probably doing her of me and my singing. Yeah. And he's probably going to ask me to sing with him. Amen. Amen. You say, died with sin in his life. You don't know whether he had sin in his life or not when he died. You don't know how he died. You don't know how long it took him to die. Yeah. And besides that, he had given it all to Jesus. So Jesus, it was Jesus' job to get him to heaven no matter what shape he got himself into. And I believe that. And one day I'm going to see him. Not yeah. only that, I'm going to see David, the adulterer, and the yeah. murderer. Yeah, that's right. You are. He did. He committed mm -hmm. adultery and he committed murder. Yes. And I'm yeah. going to get to sing with King David and his heart. Amen. Yes. Not only that, I'm going to see uh, Moses that got mad and disobeyed God. And he woke up in heaven. God preached his funeral when he died. And the angels took him up to heaven. Not only that, I'm going to get to sing with Solomon. Amen. Supposed to be the wisest man ever lived. But he ended up with hundreds and hundreds of wives and hundreds and hundreds of girlfriends. And they turned his heart away from the Lord. But when he died, he went to heaven. I'm going to get to sing with King Solomon in heaven. Boy, people just sort of praise the Lord. Instead yeah. of trying to figure out reasons to make yourself feel better about your failures and your sins, why don't you just praise the Lord for what he's done for you instead of trying to figure out something yeah. wrong with somebody right. else to make you look better to yourself. Amen. By the way, you don't look no better to us. You look just like we do. Yeah. We want to praise the Lord because of his goodness. Amen. We want to praise the Lord because of his long suffering, yes. goodness and mercy and grace. Verse 31, he says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. Verse 32, let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. Yes. That's church. We'll exalt him. We'll praise him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's a shame when you go to a Baptist church 
and the preacher has to hold up a sign to get you to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. you're really a Methodist. <laughs> All men would praise the Lord for his goodness, for his mercy, endure forever. Uh, you can say hot dog or hot cat. I don't care as long as you're praising the Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. Look, we need to quit worrying about what everybody else thinks. We need to quit, uh, uh, I don't know, quenching the spirit and just start praising the Lord. Amen. Amen. Right in the middle of a hymn. If you just read the words of those hymns sometimes yeah. while you're singing, you stop and say, well, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I never thought of it that way. Now, I'm going to quit. I ain't ready to quit, but I'm going to quit. He says, <clears throat> uh, verse 39, again, they are menaced and brought low through oppression and affliction and sorrow. He pours contempt upon princes and causes them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. Yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction and maketh him families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice and all iniquity shall stop in her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving Amen. kindness of the Lord. Amen. You get to praise the Lord, it shuts your mouth on other things. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. Years ago, when I first got saved, uh, uh, back then, I, if I'd slam my finger in the door, hit it my thumb with a hammer, I'd cuss a string, you know, just cuss a string and cuss words, you know. But then uh, one day I didn't realize that all that had changed until I slammed that finger in the car door. And I jerked it out and I said, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. And I passed the test. I didn't cuss. <laughs> and it's been tested since then too, by the way. More than one time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. All things work together for the good of them. Amen. Amen. If we praise the Lord and shut our mouth That's on right. other stuff. Yeah. Did you know you can't gossip and praise the Lord? That's right. You can't lie and praise the Lord. Uh, uh, listen, you can't self-promote and praise the Lord. No. Oh, that men would just praise the Lord for his mercy Amen. endure forever. Amen. You can't get over it can't get under, can't get around it. Amen. It's eternal, never ending. God's mercy never runs out. It never right. gives out. Praise it's always God. there when you need it. It's there waiting on you right now. Mm -hmm. His mercy. Right. And what do we have to do? We just praise the Lord. That's right. So next time you have a flat tire and you're sitting on the side of the road and somebody comes by and says, what happened? And you, look, you want to look at them and say, I got a flat tire, you dummy. Why would you ask me? <laughs> you say, well, I got a flat tire. Praise the Lord. Amen. How can you praise the Lord when you got a flat tire? I said, well, uh, I never would have met you if I hadn't had a flat tire. And if I hadn't met you, then I couldn't invite you to my church. And I couldn't tell you about Jesus. Amen. And God let me have a flat tire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Instead of cussing and, and griping and complaining, you can't praise the Lord and do all that. You go to the doctor, he says, you got a bad heart. You're going to die. They will praise the Lord. <laughs> How can you say praise the Lord? Because I'm going to get there before you do, Doc. <laughs> do you know the Lord? <laughs> we can find some way to praise Him. That's right. Amen. Well, oh, that men would praise the Lord because His mercy endure forever. Amen. Let's stand and praise the Lord for just a minute. Father, thank you for your mercy, your grace, your long suffering, your goodness. We praise you for that. We lift up our hands and thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. And uh, for forgive us, forgive us for not praising you like we ought to. Forgive us that we forget your mercy and we think we deserve things when we don't deserve nothing but hell. And so, Lord, forgive us. 
Help us to be better Christians with our mouth, with our tongue, with our words, with our ways, that others might see and hear Christ in us, the hope of glory. And they would ask us, why are you so happy? How can you be happy? Don't you know what's going on? And we can say, yes, praise the Lord, but I got a final destination called heaven because his mercy endured forever. Father, bless us as we go out this week. We need you, Lord. Help us to practice what we preach and what we learn. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now, we got to sing a song, and uh, i got to figure out which one it is. And, uh, 363. Now, while I'm leading this song, uh, we got a couple wanting to join the church. So, Terry, and I'd ask you to come up here for me, and, and y'all come on while we sing the song. And, and uh, I'll give him those cards. I'm going to let you present them to the church and everything. Since you're a young preacher and don't know it, somebody's got to teach you something. Come on. Come on, man. Let's sing song uh, 363. They got it. 363. 363. What a fellowship. What a joy he brings. Leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness. What a peace of mind. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Do I hear a motion? I move that they be adopted into the church. Is there a second? <laughs> All in favor of what? Hey, 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 I'm going to preach out of him if he kills me. Amen. I wish somebody had done that to me. Didn't nobody teach me. I appreciate it. Amen. I still don't know anything. I just make it up and I go along. That's it. Y'all stand right there. We're going to shake your hands. We go out. And, I, and I'm excited about these folks. I, I visit their house, talk to them, and they're wonderful people. And uh, Bonnie brought them, I think. Did, is, 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 did we blame y'all on Bonnie? Did Bonnie bring you the first time? But she invited yeah. us several years ago. And you came anyway? And then when Terry said, your friends are here, they came to visit, I said, whoo, and when I come out, I'm like, Mama, Greta! Amen. 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 She Amen. said, you can't ever give up. That's, That's right. right. It works. It works. Amen. Amen.
All right. right. We're going to be dismissed in prayer. And then uh, y'all go by and give them a right hand fellowship. Uh, Brother Ed, thank you for letting me pick at you. I've had people leave church over less. But uh, thank you for letting me pick at you. Would you close in prayer? Our merciful Father in heaven, thank you so much, Lord, for this day that we've had and thank you for all the things that we've heard and learned Lord from your word Lord and your word is truth and we're so grateful for it we pray Lord that you would bless us as we travel back to our own homes that you would bring us back again at the next appointed time Lord that we may worship you again and help us Lord that we may spread the news the good news of your coming kingdom to the lost and dying world and we give you praise Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Yes, I'm going to see you.